and welcome back to this week's episode of Tuesday Tales with Teddy. This week we are reading The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson. This book is really lovely because it is full of lots of rhyming words but it also tells the tale of a whale who is really really kind and it shows you how you can help people by using what you are good at and using your talents and what makes you special to be a kind friend and to help out somebody else that might be struggling. So listen carefully to the story and see if you can notice all of the rhyming words, if you can spot any lovely adjectives and if you can see the times when the whale was being really kind. So listen carefully and enjoy. The Snail and the Whale This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slivered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock and as she gazed she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail! said the tiny, tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy fur, Be quiet, don't wriggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hit your lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a slivery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far-off lands with fiery mountains and golden sands. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale and she gazed at the sky at the sea the land the waves and the caves and the golden sand she gazed and gazed amazed by it all and she said to the whale i feel so small but then came the day the whale lost his way these are the speedboats running a race zigging and zooming all over the place upsetting the whale with their ear spitting roar making him swim too close to the shore. This is the tide slipping away and this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then I've got it, she cried and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot, and this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the fireman, digging a pool, 
squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. This is the tide coming into the bay and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travelled safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey-blue humpback whale. The end. Oh, isn't this book so lovely? I can't believe how many wonderful adjectives there were. How many did you count? Did you spot them all? But most importantly, this book is so special because I love that it showed that the whale was being really, really kind and he used his own talent to his ability to swim really far and the fact that he is so big with such a huge tail. He used that to help out all the snails. But as the story went on, we found that it wasn't just the whale that was really kind. The snail actually saved the whale's life and he used his special ability to save him. He used his ability to make a slippery trail to help the children in the school find the way to the whale and then the firemen used their special ability to work the big powerful hoses to wet the whale. So everybody in this story was so kind and they used their, their talents, their powers and things that were special about them to make sure everybody was happy and safe. Can you think of something special about you or a particular talent that you have that you could use to help someone? For example, maybe if you're really, really tall, you could help your friends reach the toys that are high up. Or if you're really strong, maybe you could help your friends carry some heavy toys. This week, maybe you should try and see if you can find out what you're really good at and use it to be a kind and helpful friend. So that brings us to the end of this week's episode of Tuesday Tales with Teddy. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you will all be super kind this week. Remember to keep liking, keep sharing and keep subscribing to my channel. Have fun this week guys and see you again next